Tanya here. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Today's video is going to be short and sweet. It is going to be a application video on the Gelish Structure Gel in Cover Pink on short nails. It is just the application of the cover gel. There is no top coat. There is no gel polish. There's no art on top of it. That will be coming later. This is just the application purely of the structure gel on short nails. So you can see how I apply it on short nails versus on long nails in a video coming soon. Along with, like I said, the nail polish, top coats, art, and other things like that that may not be Gelish brand that you want to apply on top of this product. So let's go ahead and take a look at the application of the Gelish Structure Gel on short nails. So I'm starting off with the pH bonder on each nail. This client came in with a set of really grown out gel polish, so we removed that. I pushed back her cuticles, removed any non-living tissue from the nail plate, and we buffed the nail plate to create an adhesion for the gel to stick to. And now I'm going in with the primer. And now I'm going in with the base coat, making sure that it's a nice thin layer, that we're not adding any bulk to the nail with this layer of polish. This is just for adhesion. And then I'll be curing that in the lamp. And then once it's cured, I am going in with my first coat of the Cover Pink Structure Gel. And I'm putting on a thin but juicy layer. This is where we're going to start to add some thickness and some structure to the nail but not so thick that it's going to flood the cuticles and sidewalls or create any lumps or bumps in the nail. And then we'll cure that in the lamp. And go on with our second coat. This one is much thicker as you can see, but again, not so thick that it's going to flood the cuticles for side walls. It's floatier than the first layer, but still thinner than what I would do on longer nails. And make sure your, your hand is pointed downward to avoid flooding in the cuticles. Notice we didn't build any apex or anything to these nails. This is just additional structure to a natural shape nail. So now I'm just going in with gel residue, cleaner, alcohol, whatever you use, and taking off the sticky layer so that I can easily buff away any of the 
little lumps and bumps that may have occurred and make sure that the cuticle and sidewalls are nice and tight to the nail plate to prevent any lifting. Buffing the surface of the product will also allow for fabulous adhesion to anything else on top of it like top coat, nail art, polishes, etc. And that is that. Like I said, short and simple, just like the nails. Uh, creepy, sorry. There's really nothing too difficult about this at all. Just keep it outside of the cuticle and you're good to go. And make sure to keep it as thin as possible throughout the nail to avoid any strange separation or lifting, especially around the free edge of the nail. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if this helped you out or if you have any other suggestions for me. All of you have been very helpful in different tips to help me improve my skills and I'm hoping that I am providing you with something that can help you potentially improve your skills or at least is entertaining to watch. Anyway, leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you feel up to it, go ahead and subscribe. And then do a little dance. If you watch this entire video, put a little dancing person down in the comments. Cool, I'll see you later. Bye.